Oh, it's moving inside of the egg. You can see what we have in here, and it looks like the giveaway. These beautiful animals will go home with a lucky winner. What's up, world? Welcome back to another video here with yours truly. Today, we are doing something completely different. I know I've only uploaded like two to three videos, so basically everything I do is going to be different. But today, we're doing something out of the ordinary. For myself, we are cutting some eggs, you know. I usually let them hatch naturally, uh, and that's completely fine and dandy, but... These eggs have reached day 60, and usually they hatch between day 55 and day 60, yes, but most of my hatchlings have hatched by day 58, they've been out of the egg. So today, what we're gonna do is go ahead and assist the hatchlings by cutting the egg a little bit and giving them a hole to come out if they're ready. If they're not, they're just gonna sit there and wait till they're ready, maybe day 62, 63, and that's all great. We just want to make sure that they're fine and they can come out without a problem, and this will allow us to see what kind of babies are coming out of the egg. Also in this video, it's more towards the end or the middle, I don't know. I will be announcing the giveaway that I'll be doing because it's about time I do it. You know, I've, I've talked about it in previous videos. I just haven't had a chance to actually mention it. So we are going to do that. So stay tuned and find out what you gotta do to win. All right, so I'm about to pull up the eggs from this incubator. Like I mentioned before, I'm using the cooler incubator. Uh, and here are the eggs. And look at that, we have, I need to remove those empty eggshells, but we have one of them hatching and that's great. You know, I was actually kind of expecting, oh, it's moving inside of the egg, that's crazy. So let me pull it out, we we'll place it right here. And we're gonna cut the egg just to find out what's in it. At this point, I'm pretty sure they're all gonna hatch no problem, but I uh, I just want to make sure they're fine. Oh, look at that beautiful baby. Let me just leave the, the phone on the side real quick just so I can, Pull the eggs without a problem. Got them in the little container I got here. Look at that gorgeous baby, isn't that crazy? All right, me... all right guys, we're all set up to go ahead and start cutting the eggs. Are you ready? I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna use this. I'm using this to cut the eggs. This was just right here. Look. So yeah, all I'm going to do is literally just cut a little, like a slit right here, and that gives them a hole to come out from, just like this little guy has done. Let me see if we can see his egg tooth. It's kind of hard. It's literally at the very tip of his nose. Can't really see it. You can kind of see, you see that right there? Do you see that little like pointy thing? That is its egg tooth. That allows the baby to cut the eggshell. If you guys never felt a snake egg before, it's amazing. It feels like leather. It's an amazing feeling. It's very soft. Oh my God, can you see the baby moving inside of there? That's crazy. All right guys, let's go ahead and start cutting the eggs and see what we have in here. All right, so I'm gonna grab this same egg right here and I'm just gonna cut a little hole right here, just like that. See how easy that is? I feel like my phone is moving. I really don't want it to fall. And it's very easy. You just wanna pinch it so you don't grab the snake. You, you <laughs> That would be horrible. I'm shaking a lot because it always makes me nervous. This is not something that I usually do. safety reasons. The baby should be fine. All right, let me see what we have in here. Maybe I can get a better look. You can see what we have in here, and it looks honestly like a, like a normal. Pretty sure that's a normal. I wanna say it's a normal. This guy also looks like a normal, but I won't know until I see the rest of the body. This could be a pie, for all I know. So we will have to wait for this one to make it all the way out on its own. All right, let me go ahead and Cut this one now. Uh, this is actually harder than most of you think. I don't wanna be, okay, let me pinch it really good, make sure I don't get the snake. Maybe I'll do this slit right there, like that. Now I can flip it here. Actually, no, hold on. And you might see some blood. And that's fine, and that's because, like I mentioned in videos before, the eggs have like blood vessels throughout them, and you can like nick them, and it's fine. If the babies are like formed already, it's completely fine. And I'm having a hard time flipping this one. And honestly, this looks like a, <laughs> like a normal as well. <laughs> oh man. What the heck? 
what was this? What was this pairing? This looks like a normal. I'm not even gonna make you guys look in there. It's definitely a normal. So three out of two, wait, two out of three look like normals. I mean, I don't know what this one really is. It could be applied for all I know, but I won't know until it comes out. So let me just go ahead and start cutting this egg now. This one's a little bit easier because of how it's positioned. But man, can't say I'm disappointed, you know. Um, I love ball pythons. Regardless of the normals or mores. Oh my God, I'm so shaky. Dude, relax. And that also looks like, <laughs> that looks like a normal. <laughs> This looks like a normal, let me see. Oh, you know what? This is a one, two, three, four, five. This might be my, uh, this might be my uh, pied to a clown, might be. So if that's the case, these would be double head clown pied. I have to check the records again, see when the female laid, but I'm pretty sure uh, these were laid 60 days ago because I put the date on it. I just have to see which female laid um, that day. All right, let me see what this guy is. I'll give you guys a better view of what's going on in here because I haven't really showed you. But yeah, this is pretty much all you do when you're concerned that your babies are not gonna make it. A lot of breeders choose not to cut the eggs, but I have my reasons. And that is, uh, that is an Enchi, actually. And I know because of the banding that's going on here, there's no alien heads. Uh, it's because of the banding that's going on. And that tells me that this is from my pied to my Enchi clown, to my Enchi blade clown. Well, it's not mine, it's a, it's a friend of mine's, but we have sort of like a partnership going on, the Enchi blade clown. So basically this clutch is a double head for clown pied. And I'll show you real quick what a clown pied looks like right here. Isn't that crazy? I mean, those things are insane and they go for a couple thousand dollars. I also put up, I'm gonna put up the price of the, I'll put up the price of the, uh, the most inexpensive clown pie I can find right here. So, but yes, there you go. This is what it looks like when you cut the eggs. I mean, some people do a more professional job. I don't usually cut the eggs because I have, I don't know, reasons that go beyond the scope of this course. But there you go, five eggs. They will hatch without a problem now. All right guys, the part that most of you have been waiting for, the giveaway. What am I giving away? How am I doing it? And who is going to be able to get these things? Or this thing, I should say. I am giving away a snake and I will show you what snakes I am offering for the giveaway. It's gonna be three of them, uh, but only one of them is gonna go to a lucky subscriber. So make sure you subscribe hit the like button down below and become part of the family because only my family will be participating for this giveaway. If you're interested, of course. If you're not, it's okay. We can just skip to the next person and I can just send it to them. It doesn't matter if you're in a different state. You just have to be within the country of the United States in order to get this snake. So do not worry about shipping costs and none of that. I will cover that because that's what you do for family. And like I said, only my subscribers are family. So go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button. But yes, let me just show you real quick the snakes that I'll be doing the giveaway with. All I ask for you is to show me proof that you have a setup for the snake. So I'm not just sending a snake to a place without a setup. I mean, you can't have the snake free roam. You need to have a setup. So you do your research before you get the snake and then you will get the snake. guys there you have it these are the animals that are on the giveaway only one of these beautiful animals will go home with a lucky winner the lucky winner will get to decide which one he or she wants go ahead and subscribe and participate for one of these babies
Now, when will I decide who is the winner? Once we hit 200 subscribers, just to make it a little bit fair. I, I would like for somebody locally to get the snake, but I mean, it's, it's, it makes it more fun if we, we get to ship the snake and do all that. So go ahead and subscribe and become part of the family. And once we hit 200, I will announce the winner. All right, guys, that's all for today. I'm gonna go ahead and return these guys, put them back in the rack. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for joining me. Signing out. Oh, 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 oh,